Hey everybody. It's been one of those days. I tell you what, I go to film my painting today and the camera, the video camera is not working. Something's wrong with the memory card or whatever and I can't figure it out and my IT husband is at work so I'm having to use my phone again and um, it just seems like some days things are working against you and I just wanted to say do it anyway. I just listened to the song by Martina McBride, she's a country singer, called Anyway. You need to pull it up on your YouTube and listen to it. It's like when you're not feeling like you want to need to do what you need to do do it anyway, sing anyway, love anyway, paint anyway. And uh, I'm in this mentoring group on Facebook and it's by Matt Tommy. It's called Created to Thrive and this is his book which is in my Amazon link below the video. It's an awesome book. I've read it. I've been in his mentoring group on Facebook for about a year and it's really been life-changing for me. And he does a weekly video on Facebook that's very helpful. And the one they brought up this past week, he does, you know, just like a little quick, um, he does a little quick video on parts of it. And then another part, he'll do it like an hour or so answering questions for people that are trying to thrive as a Christian artist. And... He mentioned Isaiah 54, which is a really awesome chapter, and it talks about, it starts out about women that can't bear children, and um, he's telling, he tells them to go and sing and shout with joy anyway, because if you do what he asks you to do, you will eventually get those blessings that he, he promises you. And so there's a lot of days when things kind of work against us, whether it's personal things in our life with our family members or relationships or your job or health. There's so many obstacles in this life, but the key is to sing anyway, dance anyway, paint anyway, love anyway. So read Isaiah 54. If you're interested in this, this is an awesome book, Created to Thrive by Matt Tommy, T-O-M-M-E-Y, and read Isaiah 54, because it really talks about doing things in spite of how you're feeling, and it will bless you. So, I've got my camera up on the pedestal here, and it's kind of crooked. I'm going to try to straighten it out. It's taped because I don't know how to even hold the camera up there. I can't find the right attachments. So I have my camera taped up on this stand because I'm gonna video anyway. And I'm gonna paint anyway because it brings me joy. And I hope it brings you some joy. It makes me happy and that's what I'm meant to be doing. It's my gift and so I'm gonna share anyway. So what I'm doing today, I've got a little bit of a different recipe that I'm going to try out here. And it's all mixed up in this big 24 ounce Pepsi to go cup. Three parts Floetrol, one part GAC 800, and one part Liquitex pouring medium. So I've mixed this cup up full with three parts, one part, and one part. So it's Floetrol latex based. There's the Liquitex pouring medium. This was my bottle of GAC 800 that I had. It was only two ounces and I needed, I don't know, about four ounces or so in this size cup. So I made up the difference with Elmer's glue all. I figured, hey, what the heck? It's an experiment. It's just a new recipe to see what it, how it works. How it, you know, kind of, if it works any differently than my typical recipes. I really don't think it will. I've got my colors mixed up. I'm going to go through these very, very quickly. 
and uh, you know there's not always colors that I have in tubes or bottles that really work for me so half the time I mix my colors up if they aren't what I want it to be also I bought a new roll of my butcher paper $14 at Hobby Lobby I was in Hobby Lobby and I knew that I needed another roll instead of ordering it from Amazon which I typically do I went and got it from Hobby Lobby and used my 40% off coupon because it's $14 so that made it you know eight dollars or so it's 30 inches deep and it's a 50 foot roll 50 feet so it's quite it lasts for quite a while but this is what I always have on my table and it's fabulous for not letting your paint seep through or you know stay on your paper much you can peel it off if it's thicker you can peel it off and use it for acrylic skins it's perfect so that's what I always use as butcher paper so very quickly I'm going to go through the colors I'm doing the chakra colors again but in one pour and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it but I want it kind of gradient and so I'm gonna very quickly go through the colors and I'll just start on the red end this is a deeper red and I mixed Liquitex basics I'll mention all of these are Liquitex Basics except for a few. Cadmium Red, Deep Hue, and Quinacridone Magenta. That's the deeper red. The lighter red is Cadmium Deep Red Hue, Artist Loft Vermilion, which is an orangey red. I have my deeper orange. That is Vermilion that I just mentioned, and Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. So that's in the deeper orange. The lighter orange is Cadmium Orange Hue with Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. That makes the brighter orange there. This is a combination of Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue and Yellow Oxide. So it's a deeper golden yellow. This one is the Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue mixed with some Master's Touch White to make it a brighter, lighter yellow. <clears throat> this is Master's Touch Chrome Oxide Green with some Thalo Cyanine Green and a little bit of Master's Touch Light Green in it. So that's my deeper green. This one is the Chrome Oxide Green, a little bit of that. A lot of light green, and then a lot of green yellow, and I put a little cadmium yellow in it to make it this brighter, lighter green. The purple is Violet by Artist Loft. The lighter one is the Violet plus Deep Violet, Liquitex Basics. And the Violet was Artist Loft, I don't know if I said that. And I had kind of a periwinkle blue that I had mixed up to do a Carolina Chapel Hill, uh, UNC Chapel Hill Ram. So it's kind of a periwinkle purple. I put a little of that into there as well to lighten it just a bit. For my blues, it calls for, uh, the chakra has like an indigo blue, and so this is a really dark navy blue that I had mixed. I put a little bit of that in, and some cobalt blue hue and cerulean blue to make my deeper indigo blue. Then for the lighter one, I did the cobalt blue hue and the cerulean blue together. And I might have put a little periwinkle in that to lighten it just a bit. So, and then for my turquoise color, I did Artist Loft Turquoise. I added a little bit of the th Thalo Cyanine Blue and the Thalo Cyanine Green to get the deeper color. And on this lighter one, is the turquoise and Liquitex Basics bright aqua green 
and maybe a little bit of white in that one. So those are my colors. I'm, I'm going to mix these ratios of one to one. I've got about an ounce and a half to two ounces in a five ounce cup of paint. They're all super thick because they came out of tubes, so I'm going to put the pouring medium in them first. And then if I need to add water to get the right consistency, then I will add water. I will be back in a minute after I've added all my pouring medium to my colors. Thanks because that pretty much, I didn't get any cells, and some people get cells, and I don't get cells when I don't add the silicone. Now, I did get the cells with the uh, Deco Art pouring medium. Um, they weren't like huge, but I did get some cells, and <clears throat> I'm looking for some cells. I'm going to add the coconut milk. A little white, the lighter red, and a little bit of white. And here's where I decide if I circle back around to the purple, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the lighter purple on the top of the red. So it's then it's kind of like a circle. So I've got the darker to the lighter, the darker colors underneath, the lighter colors, and then the next lighter color over it. That makes sense. So they're still in order. Purple here, blue, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, and red. So I'm going to put a light layer of white on my canvas. This is so much fun. I am so happy when I'm painting. I can just forget about everything else in my life. And I have issues in my life like everybody else has issues. Some, you know, family members or, you know, there's whatever. It could be health or money or loved ones with addiction, and there's just, you know, all kinds of issues that we all face, and pouring is what, or painting in general, is what just kind of helps me escape from that and forget about it and just be happy in the moment and be grateful for what I have and for the gifts that I've been given. This is kind of my time to commune with God, if you would call it that, because I think that I get my inspiration through Him, and I get my inspiration from a lot of people on Facebook that are super talented, uh, and other YouTube creators that are always posting videos, and I learn so much from everyone, and you know, the great thing about it is No two people are going to pour the same painting. It's just not possible. That's the beauty of acrylic pours, is that 
I can pour this one and I can pour the next one just like I did on this one and it's gonna look different. There's just, that's just the beauty of it, that it's truly unique. Anybody can do it. You know, if you don't have a knowledge of colors, and you know that type of thing it makes it a little bit more difficult for you but if you watch videos and you can kind of follow what other people do and what they colors they use you know that's good experience to show you this way. Move my white out of the way. And now that one fast enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at flipping cups, that's for sure. Or dragging them. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out because if I drag it, I'm probably going to screw it up. <laughs> oh, me. I was going to tilt it and let the cups come down by themselves, but I'm not going to do that either. Okay, so there's not a lot of paint to do that. Let's get some of that back up there. Stick my shirt in it. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna let it just fall. some big cells. a mess today. So that 
purple really came out on the red end. So I think what I'm going to do, this may totally screw it up. Yeah, I got the, the smaller cells because I swiped it, but that's okay. I'm going to try to tilt it a little bit more. I'd actually like to get, get it straightened out just a little bit more, but I don't know if I can or not. It's going to be crooked no matter what, I do believe. I think what I'm going to do too, kind of lost the blue a little bit. It got overtaken by the turquoise. So I'm going to do Some purple there and blue. That's turquoise and the blue got lost in here. So I'm going to take my thinner scraper. It's longer cells instead of circular, they're like tubes. That's interesting. So this is one of those that didn't go as planned, but I'm going to work with it and keep playing with it.
what I'm doing is seeing if I can get it to slant all together a little bit more and make it look like it was intentional to slant. <laughs> so the red's too much here. So now I feel like I've got purple, blue, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, and red. So the automatic color that would resurface would be the purple from over here. So what I'm going to do is put the lighter blue and the deeper purple. That way there's a little bit of purple on this side too. Heat it first. Get that little bit of a streak of blue out. Well, it's kind of a whopper jaw, but I love the colors and the cells. Um, they were bigger, but because I had to keep moving it around, they've kind of gotten smaller, but that's okay. I kind of like it. I really wish I could angle this more. Um, Or make it straighten back out, but I can't, because once you've poured and the cells and everything, the more you tilt, the less cells you're going to get, and the more, you know, the, the little shapes that kind of squish together, and I don't want to lose that. So I think that I'm going to leave it be. Coming around to this side, a little bit of red, just near the top as it goes over the edge. So these are my chakra colors. And I did it for a friend who's getting married and hopefully she'll love it. And if not, she can pick another one of my colorful creations. So, here's this one.